Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Good afternoon, viewers. Welcome to another Phantom 4 video. Once again, I don't really feel this is going to be a brand new video that no one's ever seen on YouTube. But for those that follow my channel anyway, this is a Phantom 4 firmware update video. I'm just gonna run you through how it all works. It's a bit different to what we're kind of used to with uh, Phantoms, in that previously you used the DJI Go app um, and you do all the firmware uh, sort of uh, wirelessly um, and you do it all through the app here it involves your laptop and plugging in your phantom 4 uh, via the usb cable into your well laptop or computer um, and it involves you downloading some software so without further ado let's get going first thing you need to do is to use the supplied usb cable to be honest um, any USB cable will do. And we are going to put it into the side here. Or make sure that it's the right way. Right. And then we are going to turn it on. Like so. Make sure that the gimbal uh, down the bottom here uh, does not have the gimbal uh, clasp on uh, because that camera is about to go floppy and it will completely destroy the motors if you've got it restricted. So make sure you turn that off before you turn the drone on. But anyway, let's get going with the update. Right, the first step is that we actually need to download the DJI Assistant app. Um, Go to the Phantom 4 page on the DJI website and what you're going to look for is the download section uh, and in there you can see, uh, just click on that, in there you can see the DJI Assistant uh, uh, software. You can choose to either download that as a zip file or as a straight file. In my case I'm just going to put it down as a straight file. So we're going to download that. And now just going to open that up and let it install itself. Click another couple of buttons and we get uh, the download done and dusted. That's sped up by the way because um, it did take a while to install. So now that's done uh, and installed, we are going to move on to actually loading it up and putting the firmware or the updated firmware onto the Phantom. Right, so once that's installed, we go to the DJI Assistant uh, app or program. And what you need to do is we need to log in using your DJI uh, account details so um, you need to have those to hand or set those up um, we sign in okay so we've signed in so as you can see the phantom 4 uh, has been recognized so we open that up and now this is going to tell us what firmware uh, needs to be done on the Phantom. So we currently have uh, 0301, which was back from the 7th of May, but we need to upgrade um, these two. So let's just upgrade them one by one and take it from there 
and this should take well obviously depends uh, it's got to download it depends on your internet connection and uh, and so forth and then it will obviously need to install it onto the phantom so uh, brace yourself and we shall be back shortly once they're all done and so there you have it we are 100 percent we will click back just check that uh, all the updates have gone through it's just communicating with the phantom and there we are so in my case it's 0411 which is the uh, current update which was uh, four, four or five days ago and that's it now you can downgrade should you wish so if you find that at some point they release a note um, a firmware update and for whatever reason it's not good it doesn't you know it affects your phantom 4 in any way you can downgrade using these buttons here so fairly simple uh, but not as uh, not as easy as uh, over the air updates which was was nice to have but uh, this is at least at uh, you know a bit more stable and that's it so thank you very much for again for watching uh, please subscribe to my channel, uh, a link um, to the subscribe button is coming up uh, or you can just click below and uh, thumbs up if it's uh, been a help to you and that's it for me so once again uh, take care guys and I will catch up with you all again very soon. Till then, goodbye.